Hello and welcome to our channel. We are NNJ Small Engine Services, here to answer any questions that you might have about your small engines. And if you live in the Twin Cities area and are having problems with your small engines, contact us here on our website or here at our phone number. Without further ado, let's get into that video. In this video, we will cover how to fix a frozen pull starter. Now, a lot more has been out in the rain and <laughs> it's very frustrating, but you go and pull on it and yeah, your pull starter just, you know, drops to the ground. It's got resistance <laughs> and it's not starting yet. All you want to do is just get it started. So let's fix it. It's easy. It's quick. We're just going to start with this maze housing on the top. And I did just point at four screws to grab my um, fancy impact driver here. Very fancy. It's just a screwdriver and I have an extension with my socket. Quick and easy. Once it's out, I'm just going to lift up on it and pull out. Now there are three nuts on the pull starter and again using my very fancy impact driver that I just dropped. <laughs> I will break them loose, just going at it, break them loose and uh, once I have it broken loose lifting up on it and I guess I did drop it, my apologies leather gloves are a little clumsy and lifting up on it I will inspect the bottom and let's give it a pull yes a pull and let's use WD-40 for this job now it's a lot of resistance rust is built up in there so which WD-40, quick and easy. Don't be afraid to, you know, give it, give it what you think it needs. Overdo it. It it can't hurt. And I'm just gonna start yanking at it, breaking any remaining rust in there, freeing it loose. Yeah. Now that it needs a little more. Feel free to just give it a surplus of just WD-40. And once it's broken loose, just secure it back in place and I'm gonna grab my fancy impact gun here. And three three nets is all it needs. And yeah, be careful not to drop them. They're they're small and seem to get out of hand. Alright, now, a pull starter is not something you want coming apart. Grab a ratchet and really fasten them in. While being careful not to strip anything, of course. Alright, there's a top housing. Just a plastic cover to it. Nothing fancy. Four screws again. and the socket you could use just a normal screwdriver but I've found that this is just faster <laughs> and these screws do not have to be in tight at all because it's just plastic Half done. I'm 
finished. And of course, never us underestimate the power of WD-40. Let's see it in action. Would you look at that? Let's try it a fourth time and just watch it smooth. 